Hello people, it's Ada's Recipes here. Thank you so much for stopping by. How are you guys doing today? How is everything going on with you? Hope you are doing just great. Okay, today I'm excited to share with you how to make easy, typical firewood jollof rice. Like guys, this was so delicious. Like it was so 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 delicious and i know you're going to love it okay so if you want to know how i came up with this easy party chill of rice continue watching like i said it's easy and simple and let's delve into how i made this chill of rice so guys here yeah, i have my spices i have rosemary and thyme here then i have seasoned powder this is seasoning powder right so the next is curry yes curry powder this is curry powder this is um crushed seasoning cube it was crushed the seasoning cube was crushed and here i have calabash nutmeg right um it's removed from the shell already as you guys can see and this is called api or jansa so these are local spices and i'm going to be um roasting and grinding them into powder right so here my chicken is well washed is neat and well washed and here i have onions like sliced onions then you add your onions and this is the rosemary and thyme and um, the curry powder goes in right the seasoning powder goes in that's the chicken seasoning powder and here i'm adding um, the crushed seasoning cube and this is um, the grinded and roasted um, spice, like local spices, the ehu or the calabash nutmeg and the jansa, aka api. Okay, so I grinded them as you guys can see. I've added it right, and here I have um, fresh ginger and garlic grated and add salt, right? So after that, I mixed everything together like so so i'm adding dried cameroon pepper you know for that peppery kind of um feel um yes and just you know mix everything together and place it on the fire and we're going to leave for about 20 to 25 minutes right remember i didn't add any water so this is our chicken and is well cooked now and i'm going to be frying it that will be behind the camera right so set this aside here i have um, a combination of fresh tomato shown but that is candy pepper um yellow and red pepper and i have my onions okay so well blended like it was well well blended so we are going to be um drying this like it's going to be um cooking it and the water will be dried so as you guys can see so here is uh um the blended tomatoes and as you guys can see is dried up already so that aside so with the oil we used to fry the chicken i'm going to be pouring it and as you guys can see pouring it into a dry pot and i'm going to be frying some slices of onions then you saute for about two to three minutes so here i have tomato paste right thin tomato yes i have tin tomato and i'm adding it and i'm going to be stirring it and i'm going to be frying it until dry okay fry it until dry like guys this is easy and simple and delicious so fry it until dry So this is it almost um, dry and I've added, I'm adding here yeah, the blended fresh tomato I previously cooked, right? So we're going to be mixing this and we're going to fry it until there is no longer sour, alright? 
Now set this aside. Here is a rice. They're going to be cooking this rice. So this is about two pints. That's one cola, which will serve about 50 persons. Okay, it will be okay for 50 guests, right? Right. So as you guys can see, I'm washing the rice. I'm going to wash and wash and wash this rice for like three times. Okay, I'm going to wash it for like three times with cold water. Right. I'm going to wash and wash and wash, wash and wash. So on the fire is the boiling water and I'm adding the washed rice into this boiling water. So once it boils, that will be okay. As you guys can see, it's boiled. That's once it boils, so remove the rice like so. So here I have um, chicken stock. I'm adding it into a boiling water. This is the chicken stock, right? So I'm adding in the tomato sauce we already prepared. So it's time to prepare the rice proper. I'm adding in some slices of onions. Then here I have crayfish, that's ground crayfish. Then I'm adding um, the spices, the remaining local spices, right? I'm adding some seasoning cube, the crushed seasoning cube. I added salt behind the camera, sorry. So mix very well. And we're going to cover and leave to boil, like boil, boil, boil. So it's boiling now and make sure you have a test of this before adding your rice. Test for salt and some other things that needs to be added. So I'm adding the rice, like the parboiled rice. So when you add, you stir so that it wouldn't be stuck at the bottom of the pot. So when you add your rice, you gently stir. If you have wooden spoon, please use your wooden spoon. I'm using this um, metal spoon because there wasn't any wooden spoon available. So if you have this big um, turning wooden spoon, please kindly use that. So we are going to leave to cook. So I had to use this for the heat to cook the rice. Okay, so I used something like this. And as you guys can see, our rice is already done. Like it's popping, it's looking delicious as you guys can see. So guys, it's just easy to prepare. And guys, you trust firewood now, firewood rice. Hey, that's, you know, burning test, that's test. Oh my goodness guys just try this out and i know you're going to love it so this is for um this is just one cooler and it served about 50 guests it was okay for about 50 guests so guys so for more flavor you can add butter and some slices of onions and you know stir everything together okay for the recipe measurement check the description below thank you guys and see you in my next one don't forget to like share and subscribe bye bye